For the last several years, a quiet family in the small town of Commerce, Texas, says they've been hearing strange sounds coming from the forest. Howls, they say, are so full and so deep that they vibrate your insides. Vocalizations they say no human is capable of making, even with a bullhorn. Bill Gibson and his family have been living in this house on the east side of town all their lives. Bill recalls the first time he heard what people in the area call the wild man of North Texas. You could actually feel it in your body. You could, it's, the only thing I can describe it like is when a train runs real close to you, you know how it's shaking and you want to just take off running. Bill's son Jeremy was just 10 years old when he first heard the sound. He says he's been haunted by the creature ever since. You know, I know what's in there. I know what we're dealing with here. And what's in there? Something big. After years of silence, the Gibsons say the wild man has returned, waking them up in the mornings with its howls. But this time they called in renowned Bigfoot hunter Tom Biscardi to investigate. We know that something's been through here in the last three days. We've all heard the stories, but we can assure you whether or not you believe in Bigfoot is the last thing on Biscardi's mind because he says he's seen one. When I started out, I was a doubting Thomas, excuse the pun. But then after I saw one, and I got real close, I said to myself, my God. Biscardi and his men found what they believed to be several large footprints in a clearing about a mile away from the Gibson's home. Don't touch it, don't touch it. So they set up a perimeter, hung bait, and strapped infrared motion sensor cameras to the surrounding trees. Regardless of what you want to call the creature, Biscardi says he truly believes that a species exists that is so smart and that has adapted so well to the arrival of human population that it's become an expert at avoiding detection and capture. Biscardi believes it so much that he's dedicated his life to finding the creature, and recently his company, Bigfoot Projects Investments Incorporated, became the first of its kind to clear SEC regulation and go public on the stock market. The mission statement of the company? To capture the creature known as Bigfoot. I feel very proud. This is one thing that we've crossed over to mainstream America. We've taken a myth, a legend, a folklore, and brought it to reality. Now that the bait was set, Biscardi and his crew decided to check out another area believed to be the creature's stomping ground. But an hour-long downpour made getting to the location nearly impossible, so the crew decided to return to the side of the traps for one last listen before turning in for the night. Biscardi's son TJ belts out a howl into the darkness and hopes that the creature has an answer. But it doesn't. While our day's search only yielded a couple of footprints, Biscardi says tomorrow is another opportunity and that he will never give up. It's a whole new day and a whole new adventure. One day, he says, he'll prove to the world that he's been right all along. They're seeing something out here. Can all these people be wrong? Or are they all right? And there's something wrong with us. You never know. Reporting in Commerce, Texas, Rick Springer, K10 News.